Hello, this is John, back again with a new product review. As you can see in front of me, I have a box of Magic Spoon cereal. And if you've read the caption for this video, you'll see that that's exactly what I'm going to be tasting. You may have seen this product on many a YouTube channel unrelated to food. Could be, uh, what I've seen it on was uh, New Rockstars, because, you know, every time a new TV show comes out, you gotta watch the post shows and everyone explaining what's going on, what's happening. So you're like, oh yeah, now I sound more smart when I talk to other people about it. But anyway, they always have uh, advertisers, and one of them is this cereal, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is advertised as a cereal for adults that brings you back to your childhood, but doesn't have all the sugars and stuff in it. And as you can see, it says zero sugar, four net carbs. 14 grams of protein and in the back they compare those numbers to the other cereals and it's also high protein keto friendly gluten free grain free soy free wheat free naturally flavored totally delicious childhood cereal for grown-ups let's hold on to the dream with a spoon um, there's 10 carbs that you Subtract six from fiber and allulose, and allulose is supposed to be some magical sugar substitute that it says. One thing that I can tell you, uh, I got the multi pack, so I'm going to taste all of them over time. But um, this box, peanut butter one, uh, they are all the same size, so this is going to go for everyone. I don't know if you could tell by me holding it, but it's pretty small. And it says there's seven ounces of cereal in this box. And I'm not sure how much a regular cereal box is typically, but I know holding on to these, when the box came in the mail with all four flavors in it, I, th I was like thinking, like, these boxes must be tiny. And you open it up, and, like, the ratio size is correct. So, like, when you hold it, like, on a TV screen, and you're not comparing it to something else, it's easily just mistakable for a regular size cereal box. That is not the case. There's only five servings, and a serving size is one cup. And I know anyone who's ever eaten cereal, I've never seen them measure a cup. It's just, you fit the bowl in, right? This is my cereal bowl. Let me see when you can finally see how the cereal in here. That's like, less than half full. It looks very pitiful to look at. Um, so the boxes are small. And, uh, the smell of this one is definitely peanut butter. Um, I got this for me to review, but, as a side, I also have two young boys who are obsessed with eating cereal, usually it's some kind of ringed cereal, like Cheerios or Fruit Loops, something like that. And, their, uh, their grandmother opened the box while she was babysitting them because it was, a uh, whatever cereal she could find basically for them and like I didn't not get this for them but uh, they liked it and I was trying to wait to, until I reviewed it to see if they liked it or not but that's why the reverse happened um, but they liked it the younger one could not have cared less what kind of cereal it was really uh, and the older one ate it just fine but uh, I, that, I, that means I did also taste it because it was out and um, so this one won't be uh, my initial first impression the flavors of the other one I'm going to try to make sure are but this one today was not my first impression um, I had the milk on the side because I knew I was going to rant and I didn't know how long I was going to rant for um, but I'm glad I kept it separate because this was a longer rant than I uh, initially thought in my mind it was going to be. Anyway, smells like peanut butter. I can tell you that for sure. This is kind of what it looks like. One thing you notice, like, see how it's, uh, on the outside of it is brown from this, the, uh, flavorings, but, um, let me break this so you can see it easier. That's the inside of it. The inside of the ring and the inside, if you break it, are, like, completely white so I'm thinking for their entire line of cereals it's all the same base ring 
and the flavor differences are just the coatings. Because it really looks like, like a bright white plain foam thing ring. Uh, tasting it dry. You can hear it. It's crunchy. So, texture wise, the initial bite crunch is very similar to a cereal they've had before. But, um, especially the more you eat them on like chewing on the same side of your mouth, when they crush and the impact, they become a lot denser. Like, it's not like melting away or anything, it's becoming this harder mass when you're chewing it up. But it eventually goes away after you break it down enough. Flavor wise, it tastes good. Peanut buttery. The texture is a little bit different than the regular cereal. Let's see what milk does to it. Good thing you can't see my desk because I spilled. So we're going to see like the flavor change with milk the texture change with milk and, re and really like how long it takes to break down as well. First bite impression is that um, it really didn't soak up a lot of milk. The only milk was like running off the surface or at the bottom of my spoon. See like um when you have other cereal that soaks up the milk when you bite into it almost you can get the sensation that you're squeezing the milk out of it that was soaked up into it this one you don't get anything it's like you're like squeezing air out of them Which could be good, could be bad, depending on what you like. I could imagine if you're someone who absolutely hates soggy cereal, that this is actually uh, a benefit for you. It's going to maintain the crunch for much longer. This definitely is a lot less sweet than other cereals. It says it has an allulose sugar substitute um, and also monk fruit extract, but it almost tastes like there's no sweetener at all. Like it has a very like naturally peanut butter flavor to it. And the scent of peanut butter is way stronger than the flavor of peanut butter. Does Cheerios make a peanut butter type? I think I remember hearing that the Honey Nut Cheerio, the nut in that was supposed to be almond, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost done with this and they're still just as crunchy as the first bite.
all that there is. Now, one other thing about cereal that I find enjoyable is the leftover milk at the end. You get this cereal milk that's milk flavored with whatever cereal you just ate. So this should taste like a delicious peanut butter milk. Let's see if it does. It just kind of tastes like milk. So, I guess that goes along with the the fact that it's not absorbing the milk like other cereal. That would mean that milk is going in, the milk is going out. So there's this flow through that carries some of the flavor out of the cereal into the milk. It doesn't really happen as much in this one. You can almost see, uh, instead of like when you're eating a chocolate cereal and the milk, it's like completely chocolate milk. Whereas um, when I was done with the cereal, the flavorings that got into the milk almost looked like they were just sitting on the surface of the milk. Like there was like some swirly, uh, brownish swirls on top. But if you took your spoon and you like pushed aside, it was just plain white milk through it. So if you can get over those two things, you're not going to get your cereal milk that you kind of wish for at the end. You're not going to get uh, cereal that absorbs the milk and that meaning you get that contrast of flavor of what turns to from crunchy to more mushy and you might like the benefit of that. You might be a person who likes cereal that never absorbs the milk, always stays as crunchy from the first bite to the last bite. And then there you also have the added uh, zero sugar, only four net carbs, and high in protein. Me personally, I don't eat a lot of cereal in general, so this is not like a product for me per se. But uh, I don't think it's bad. There's probably a market for it. it probably could be better. And you could probably sell this in a more typical sized cereal box. Uh, I don't know, like, if you were to make this in a regular sized cereal box with the same amount of servings that a regular cereal box would have, would that put it at a price that was too high? Because that's probably what they did. They probably had to measure the price per box. Because that's what a lot of places do now to maintain a similar price they'll sometimes sell it at a smaller size but still have the same price and still look as similar as possible maybe like thin it in this direction um, and then just not like really make a big deal about the change now if you're still watching because this is transitioning to another video um, keep watching and we'll see you on that one hello welcome to part two of the Magic Spoon Cereal Eating Review of the product that is Magic Spoon Cereal. As you can see, the top of this box is kind of dented. That's because I have a container that I put open boxes of cereal in. Um, just to protect it from anything happening to it, stale-wise or whatnot. And it's about this high. Um, so, I want usually I take the bag out and put it in the box, but I wanted to keep the box for the... There's reviews to show you what I'm eating, so I kind of just smushed the top of the box to fit it in the package. That's why these next two boxes will be smashed at the top. Yes, I said two, because today I'm going to do two, because I have two boxes that are open, um, because it's been a, a while since I did the last one, and I know at the end of it I said that I was going to hopefully do these before. I opened them and gave them to my kids, but that wasn't the case. Uh, don't hate me for that. Anyway, we're going to be doing two Magic Spoons today. The Fruity and the Cocoa. Um, one thing I noticed about this box. Look at like the, the, the coloring of that, of that O. It's like really green. This one's really red. That one's really yellow. And look at this. Look how light the coloring is on that. 
compared to the box. We'll take one of these blue ones. I'll stick it right next to that blue green one there. Not even close. The yellow one's probably the closest. But yellow is a light color. So yellow would be light on the box and on real cereal. Um, I can tell you this, the fruity one, it smells like fruity cereal. So just like the peanut butter uh, magic spoon smelled like peanut butter cereal, the fruity one smells like fruity cereal. I've got my milk here that I'm going to add right now. Going to get a little bit of a mix to get the cereal at least coated in some milk. Like I said last time, these things really take a long time to soak up milk, so I'm not worried about it really getting soggy while I'm sitting here. All right, here we go. Fruity flavored Magic Spoon. This one is very good. It has that classic fruity cereal flavor. Whereas the peanut butter one, you could taste peanut butter but wasn't very strong and you kind of missed out on some sweetness. The fruity one, it's tricking me into thinking that it's sweet. Okay. This one, if it wasn't for how light the coloring is, you might be able to fool someone and think that this is regular Fruit Loops. Let's move on to the chocolate one before I eat too much of that one. All right, here we go. Magic Spoon Cocoa. There's the box. The uh, This one again, the cereal doesn't quite match the color of that one, but this one's more acceptable, I suppose. Let's add the milk. What I'm really concerned about for this one is will the milk turn to chocolate milk? I'm gonna mix up the cereal in the milk just to get all the milk covered. Another thing for this one, just like the peanut butter one, you can really tell they're like only really the exterior of the O is getting covered. You can see the interior of the, the circle of that is still that bright white color. But the, the milk is turning a chocolatey color. All right, let's have a bite. This one's not bad. Maybe the peanut butter one was just the worst. This has uh, this stuff is, this definitely has a a healthy taste to it. When you first bite into it. 
you would definitely hit with cocoa. But like, look at this spoonful. I don't even tell. If you remember how dark brown it was before, I would say at least half of that is gone now. Which definitely means it's in the milk. This one definitely has like a almost like a protein powder flavor to it. It's better than the peanut butter one, but not as good as the fruity one. Alright. Let's bring fruity back. And now we're going to taste the cereal milks. Starting with fruity. There's a tad bit of fruitiness, fruity cereal-ness in that milk. Again, better than how the peanut butter one was. The peanut butter one just tasted like regular milk, and it had like a little bit of like a film of peanut butter on the very, very top just floating on it. And you could tell this one is fully chocolate milk. Let's taste it. You'd be satisfied with that. I'm sure you would. Hmm. Well, fruity and cocoa both get a thumbs up from me. The peanut butter one, not so much. The last box I have is frosted, and that'll come up after this. Hello, this is John back again, and I am doing the final part of the Magic Spoon cereal review. This one that I'm doing today is the frosted version. It has a wizard riding a rabbit dog thing with a magic spoon in his hand, I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, so I've done the peanut butter, fruity, and chocolate already. This uh, frosted one is the last one that comes in their uh, multi-pack. They have other flavors that I'm not trying uh, during this just because I wanted to get the four basics in. Um, and if they were very good, then I might try more. Uh, however, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is going to be the end of it right here. But anyway... We have the frosted cereal magic spoon. You can see they have a yellowish tint to them. I can see it better from a distance. Yellow. Um, it was a light yellow. Interesting in these ones, kind of like the fruity ones, the interiors of them look as yellow as the exteriors. So the uh, the chocolate and the peanut butter ones definitely looked like only the outside was coated. Um, the fruity ones were a little bit better. These ones actually look very much coated. And as you can see here, this happened is happening a lot in the bowl here. A bunch of them are stuck together. Like I said, there's a couple more situations where I got clusters of them stuck together. And that's interesting. Um... Frosted, you usually think, like, coated with sugar. But there's zero sugar in this. Um, and the uh, sweetness in here, they say, is from, let's see, monk fruit and allulose. It does say that there is a trivial amount of sugar from different things in here. 
Uh, but at the end of the day, total sugars is zero per cup. Anyway, let's add the milk. So this one does have like a sweet smell to it. It smells more like a, a Rice Krispie treat than like I would think of a frosted cereal. And it doesn't look like, usually the yellow I don't associate with frosted cereal. Like frosted cereal is kind of like this almost bluish white color. Here we go. I don't know if I mentioned this, but on the back of every box there's some kind of game. This one has a, a word find. This frosted one is good. It doesn't remind me of Frosted Flakes, Frosted Cheerios. Like the smell reminded me of Rice Krispie Treats. It tastes like Rice Krispie Treat cereal. It's like a marshmallowy flavor. I didn't do this on purpose by choosing this last. I didn't like read any reviews of other people to say which one was their favorites. But there's no doubt in my mind right now that the frosted for magic spoon is my favorite. It reminds me the most. just eating a bowl of cereal. Like sugary kid cereal. Starting with the peanut butter one, it was not, I was not impressed. I thought this tastes like a healthy version of a peanut butter cereal. There was barely any sweetness to it at all. The peanut butter flavor was not anywhere near a peanut butter cereal I've ever had. It was very light flavor. The fruity one was good. The chocolate one was alright. This one is very good. I don't know how they managed to make a cereal has zero sugar in it, but it tastes like marshmallow treats. Speaking of marshmallow treats, one thing I think Magic Spoon should try experimenting with in their food labs and whatnot is to add 
uh, cereal marshmallows somehow to some of the cereals. And I think uh, they got the flavoring good on this. So if they can get something that had the right texture, whatever flavoring they have in this frosted one, it's going to be very tasty. So I didn't keep all my boxes, but I'm going to tell you, Frosted is number one of the four that I've had. Fruity is number two. Chocolate is number three. Peanut butter is number four. And this is There's a significant drop between the chocolate to the peanut butter one. And I like peanut butter. I like peanut butter cereal. I just didn't like the Magic Spoon peanut butter cereal. The chocolate one, I like the fact that it did turn the milk into chocolate milk. The fruity one, color-wise, was kind of disappointing, but taste-wise, I was impressed. This frosted one, kind of like blew all the other ones out of the water, flavor-wise and from what I was expecting. It even gave the milk a slight marshmallow flavor. I think the, the peanut butter one just gave me the wrong impression to start out with. It had less flavor. It didn't interact with the milk flavor-wise. kind of just gave like a, a very thin, almost oil slick kind of layer on the top of the milk which underneath it just tastes like regular white milk. All the other flavors did something to the milk at least. Uh, made it fruitier, chocolatier, or in this case, kind of tastes like marshmallows. So, I don't know if you have to revamp the peanut butter one or change it, but it's, it's not good. I would stay away from the peanut butter. It's my suggestion anyway. I'm going to try one. Try the frosted. It's delicious. It tastes like marshmallows. The the fruity one, if you like fruity pebbles, that kind of flavor of a cereal, that's what you're going to get out of that one. The chocolate one, I think, will satisfy you enough if you're, if you're trying to cut down on those sugary cereals with chocolate in it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Overall, I would say I'm impressed by Magic Spoon. Um, I thought it was going to be just like something that uh, YouTubers and social media people were just selling to put ads on their shows and make money out of it that way. But I'm going to go back on that just a little bit because it's actually pretty good if you get the right flavor, uh, especially the frosted one. Definitely my favorite. Thank you for watching this uh, video slash series of videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and uh, comparisons like this one. And I'll see you guys later on the next video, whenever that may be. See you later.